What are you going to do with the rest of your week? What about tomorrow? Aspirin, Minecraft. I got 48 jobs to do. And a bitch ain't one. Boom. Thank you. Call back. Nature. <laughs> Nature. A should, we, should, we have, should we have Demore jump, Steve Levy up? Oh, yeah, yes. For sure. Let's just have them both come up. Yeah, let's see that. Ladies, ladies, and, gentlemen. ladies and gentlemen, the comedy team of Demorge and Levy. Demorge and Levy. Offering services for 20 years. Don't ever believe me when ladies I don't. say Demorge. that Demorge and Levy are Levy. coming to the stage again. Demorge and Levy. Fresh off a birthday tour. Demorge. A birthday tour. Levy. They're both gonna fuck right now. Levy. We're gonna okay. make them fuck what, and it, we're it, gonna it, watch now. now. Demorge and Levy. Fucking right here. They're, you need to get the live broadcast. Five dollars a month. Go. <laughs> They're fucking right now. Uh, <laughs> fucking and loving it. Oh, yeah, they didn't think they would. Why do you look oh, so yeah. fancy, Demorge? I know, he grays better than anyone. Uh, wearing, I haven't worn a tie regularly in a, in a while. All right. They're like still fucking, right. by the way, Can, this can a guy wear a tie? Uh, there uh, we go. Uh, do, do you need a ladder to crawl? Get, get back off my ass, is what you're saying. You're like, what's yeah. with the third degree? I, like, like, I, I wore a fucking tie. What am I like? Demorge Brown, birthday yeah, weekend. Damn that's right. Why. Birthday weekend, Demorge Brown. That's true. Is it your birthday weekend? Uh, birthday weekend. Birthday weekend. Birthday, the actual birthday is uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday. and Not uh, on the weekend. On the weekend. That's how he gets down. Yeah. Oh, okay, so okay. Down. Weekend before the birthday. What are you going to do on your weekend birthday? <laughs> <laughs> we had a party on Friday night. And then Saturday, what did I do? I shot some you know, silly Person. little thing. And was then, that that uh, thing you were talking about? No, all that was like the week before. Oh, okay. it, was, it was a bunch of stuff the week before. But then uh, today, my friends uh, Kyle Duncan Graham and Molly Evan had a crab, boil, a crawfish boil. Yeah, so just mountains. I was at one of those of, recently. Dude, just corn and so sausage violent. and crawdads and what? <laughs> the eating, like dismembering crabs. I the just eat? like I just like I went to one a couple weeks ago with my buddy Scott and shellfish. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. crab, yeah, yeah. They all get shipped in live. No, I know what they are. From yeah, Louisiana, just, they I'm have saying, to be alive. I'm just saying, shellfish. Yeah, but <laughs> when you <laughs> see the devastation, okay, that's cool. You know, like they, they they're all alive <laughs> in a bag, cut open the bag, they put it, then they dump all these living creatures in a strainer. Look, I know, I, but I'm witnessing it. Okay, that's Man, why. I mean, I look, I know. I know what you're. What do you mean? I know. Oh no, no, no you're what? on my team. I, I <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah, you. Rob, look, remember, I know. You're on his. Oh club. boy, I just I hear Spencer and Dan. It's it, 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 but anyway, look. they're all trying to. They're all like freaking out. They're trying to get out, climb out of this thing. Why do you think they're trying to get out? They don't Monster want to be hierarchy. on top of each other. I mean, why? Jesus. Why do you think they're trying to get out? I don't out? know, Rob. I, I don't know. Rob, they can't wait to get, is it because, they because they can't, is it because they can't wait for Cajun season and spice them? Yeah. Are they, so are they, is it because <laughs> they, they, they're there's happy? A, there's like a hundred of them in there all moving yeah. around, but it's like bodies trying to fight for spices. Up, and then they get put in a pot of boiling water. Oh, yeah. And then so the, they get covered. And then alone. 10 there's minutes. Potatoes 10 minutes. Not alone. Corn. There's all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, there's corn in there. Not alone. They have onions. corn Oh, there's corn. To. Lemon slices. <laughs> oh, if it's corn, Wait, they didn't feel then, anything. Calm down, Rob. There's if corn. there's corn and butter, they didn't feel anything. <laughs> they didn't feel anything. <laughs> 10 minutes later, they take the 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 strainer out oh, and yeah. then they just dump like a hundred corpses oh. on this table <laughs> yep. and there's all these yeah. all these people well, slow it's down like Cormac McCarthy they just Jr. Pull, <laughs> they, slow down and hold the head they pull them in half uh, and then they eat what looks like the uh, inside the, the the diet the, the baby like, shrimp the shit tract it's like brown right. it looks yeah. like it looks like Good. this is yeah. how Vonnegut would describe a, a picnic at Roy Rogers field. yeah <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, and then at the end you look at the devastation it's like it's like the less than an inch of meat in that thing, and I, I can't imagine it didn't smell good. And then it's just like <laughs> hundreds of corpses on this table. Are you doing I mean, this at the at the at the crab boil? Are you there saying this? Yeah, because I'm like God. That's soil a, and green. It's a lot of it's a lot of death. And yeah, man. Capitalism's like, inherently stop violent. Stop it! Stop it! Yeah. We're just trying to have a good time, and it tastes good. No, they're like, <laughs> we get it. <laughs> this tastes good. 
Stop being such a bummer, Steve. Yeah. I think it tastes good. I was just like, I just... (laughs) Jeez. Oh, just, man. I'm know. so unlikable. I'm doing nothing for my yeah, it's an important. Yeah, it's an important. It's not. Uh, it's good. You're just beating yourself. I, I, that's, that's, it definitely I, I, I tried not to say anything. Moral no, no, no. It is, it's a ridiculous thing that we still do that. Because no. that's not a lot of meat. It, it, Things it, with a lot of meat, maybe. It's not a shrimp. A shrimp, the whole thing is a, is the meat. It right, but even a shrimp is kind of a small birthday piece weekend. Of meat. <laughs> it's Shit. George's birthday. Yeah, let him eat yeah. crabs. Oh, no, God no. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. And it's I'm, in his blood. No, it was, it was, was a fun greens. party. It was yes. a fun party. And then, I don't know why I'm looking at you when I said, but there because were Because you know greens. we know. Uh, ham house food. Huh? Waffle House? Waffle House? Waffle House. Waffle House. Waffle House. Waffle House. Uh, yeah, well, on top of on top of you guys being uh, black gentlemen, like we're listening Literally. to the one Jewish guy is like telling us that shellfish are gross. Like, right. We knew you felt well, that way. I mean, if you, you think play you go the to Jewish hell garden, when you I, eat one, it wasn't shellfish. It was like I it, like I had seen pictures of Jews piled up like that before. Whoa! Oh God, Jesus in heaven! Rochester. I have too. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucked me up, man. I think the Nazis were going, but it tastes good. <laughs> Oh God! Damn! It's worth oh, it. Damn! It tastes good. That's damn. a good point, Rob. The Nazis were more moral than people who eat shellfish. <laughs> wow, bro! <laughs> more moral? The so, Holocaust was basically a clam bake, is what you're saying. I'm, well, I'm sure the Nazis had to to think that the Jews were animals in order to do horrible things to them, well, that's right? True. Okay. Or yeah. did they thought they were humans and equals? No, yeah, they had enough. to turn them mentally. They had to process that they were less than them in order to do horrible things to them. Well, right? I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna tell you that right, you shouldn't. Lady? You shouldn't be right. uh, vegetarian and, and, and invested. Peace. I will stop it. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> birthday <laughs> weekend. Thank you. So, what else happened in this birthday weekend for you? Anything else? You, uh, so you you did. I mean, that's a that's a event enough. That's a it? that's a pretty big that's, event. That's fair enough. That's yeah. a, that's a good that's a good move for a. Um, and do you celebrate? Do you go all out? The Would Friday you? party was great. Yeah. Uh, with a little joy. Just a dance party with yes. Ricky Carmona and DJ Moist. Ricky. Uh, <laughs> DJ, yeah. DJ Moist. Uh, playing the best uh, hip-hop, New Jack Swing. And did you guys have the Old back room? Yeah, we had the Old whole back room. The New best New part was the main Friday night's a big dance night in that bar, the little joy. Okay. And uh, the main DJ was was there doing whatever he wanted. You know, he's playing like world music, like Brazil, Brazil beat. Um, mm-hmm. Of course. Um, and uh, everybody that was coming in was going, what's going on in there? And we're just coming into the room, the little room for the party. So we were stacked up. Like awesome. People were on the... Uh, and I missed At some it. point, the DJ, oh, the main DJ is just in our party, just standing around with his arms crossed going, what? why is this? And when I went out to awesome. talk to him, there was nobody in the front room. Everybody was just in our... Awesome. So it was good. Yeah. You want to hear, hear what I hear in my head when I hear New Jack Swing as a genre? Like what it sounds like? Oh, I'm sure yeah. it has. I got my baby on a fire escape. I'm going to make love to her tonight. I got a two panties in a bucket of dreams for me. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I didn't really add enough new jack to that, but also it wasn't well, swing. Jack. <laughs> so it's a, little, it's a little swing, yeah. Uh, yeah swing yeah. and a miss across the board. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Well, happy birthday! Thanks, man. I'm trying to think of like wordplay to do with your name and uh, birthday, or like oh, like are you going to yeah, turn to more? Demarge, I'm sorry, I bummed you out on your you on your birthday. Out, I you mean, you don't I, have that power? I, I don't know. I don't know how uh, when how did how to. I mean, it's so easy for people to protest something like guns or, or, or like political stuff, but it, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I, and I, I, I'm making it. I thought you made a, a salient point. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think it's fine. But, but, yeah. but there's, it, it, it just makes the people dig in more with what they want to do instead of. Well, maybe if they're maybe if they're I'm thirty sorry. or maybe if they're they they don't. I mean, I think we're all I don't know. I don't know. reasonably I, mature, if not uh, 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 aging, decrepit, uh, world weary men uh, that that are perfectly willing to have. Somebody. You know what it is? It's guilt for living a certain way. And then and waking up and going, oh my god, what have I been doing? If we and didn't I'm have yelling friends at myself that, more than uh, that that went there, we wouldn't. I mean, part of the part of the very profound, cr- 
crime of a carnivorous uh, lifestyle is that it's truly mainstream to the point where no one ever has to talk about it. So much as like gay rights or anything, it's, it's like 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 they, there's the, the oppression is sounds like silence, you know, like like no one talking about it at all. So what are you supposed to do except say stuff? And yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a not it's an unenviable position to be the person that brings it up because the incentive would be to not do that because oh I want people to like me which is like saying it tastes good you know and we, we try to strike a balance I think I think I like that I have a friend who represents that view and I, I perceive myself as hovering around that you know Kevin Smith told me he he went vegetarian because he or vegan because he just had his heart attack and you know it, it and everybody's like all mad at him you know like 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 that's like some kind of it's lifestyle uh, uh, something like that it's just like I, uh, what I can't eat meat for 40 no, I used years to do that too. and then have a heart attack and then stop I to, eating I it. used to do that too I used to love Korean barbecue and I remember I, our, our, our good friend Kelsey Abbott is, is vegetarian I said hey we're gonna go do Korean barbecue it's it's great you know come along because you're fun and it's always fun and I'd like you to and she, and she said and Koreans and, are human beings and you know she, they, no, no, it's not really but but she was like uh, I don't really, you know, she was trying to be cool about it, and I went, oh, God, and I made her feel bad about it, and I've now, I, I'm, yeah, because you felt bad, because, and that's, yeah, that's why it's important to, to, to speak out, I don't know, it's a corny phrase, speak out, but it, it's, it, the reason, the reason why it's good and healthy for you to say stuff is the same reason why people might, like, smack you down, when I was a smoker, same thing, smoker culture, somebody says, you should quit smoking, you know, we make fun of the non-smokers telling it, trying to help us, yep, because we, I don't know, we're drawn to these cigarettes as a part of a religion that we're like, yeah, go fuck yourself. My drinking, I don't like, I don't like, uh, I don't like people being sanctimonious and telling me. But you know, it, if I was truly confident and blah blah blah, like I should, I should let it just be part of my world. If I know that I love drinking and I and and I know why or whatever, and I don't have a single inkling of like, oh, maybe I should quit drinking, then it wouldn't upset me when a sixteen-year-old twit. Um, the, whose life is untested and who has never tasted real pain. Um, uh, uh, you know, every time I self-effacingly comment on my trademark uh, boozing, you know, humorlessly suggests that I sh- that I'm an unhappy person or blah blah blah. I'm like, no, you're a transparently joyless little fucking mongrel. Like, like you, you're you're a broke, petty, judgmental little shit face, and you're talking to a middle-aged millionaire. I I I I'm I allowed to self abuse uh i'm i'm 30 years ahead of you uh uh i'll figure it out i'm probably gonna like learn more shit before you because i'm old i'm dying uh uh, this is what he says to his foster kid tend your own garden you fucking (laughs) know-it-all hologram pokemon fucking hoverboard nose pierced asshole that that probably just can't hold their liquor like go go just go do some ketamine and d- d- eat my balls. All right. So I'm I'm sorry. Anyways, but uh, yeah, I mean, I was like like maybe I should stop eating meat, and I think about that all the time. But I don't. Yeah. Also, yeah. Part, of, part of being an advocate is uh, taking shit for being an advocate. So uh, you're doing great. That's a, that's yeah, the best part. I, Some I, people I, need I, to be I, anti Demorge's happiness on his birthday. <laughs> I, it's it's important. I mean, he's part of a system of oppression. He's like, oh, well, my birthday, yes, I want to be I'm happy. The, I'm the oppressor. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna let this motherfucker this come up here and oppression. talk about eating all these selfish? And what are you gonna do? You gonna take a stand? And you took a stand. Feel good about that? I'm against happiness. Someone needs to say it. You're against happiness. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Down with joy. 